Hey everybody, welcome back to Stop or I'll Uke, YouTube channel where I try to learn to play this ukulele with varying levels of success. Man, I need a haircut. There. That's better. Actually, let's just go back to the hat. There. That's better. So one of the great things about the ukulele is that because it's so freakishly small, as discussed in last week's video, um, you can take it anywhere you go. You can take it uh, to the beach, take it on a picnic, take it to your proctologist's office, uh, theoretically. Uh, you can take it to work. Uh, more on that later. Recently, my wife and I went for a hike, and so I brought it with me and got to play it on top of a mountain, as evidenced here. Ah. It's a nice spot. I wish I could play a nice, appropriate song here, but I can't, so here's some random chords. Dang G! All right, cut it. So to that end, uh, about learning how to play an actual song, not just some random group of chords, uh, I've been trying to decide which songs I wanted to learn to play first. There's a lot that you can play that are pretty easy with only knowing a few chords. Rather than trying to learn a bunch of songs and play none of them well, I thought I should focus on a couple and try and play them reasonably well before moving on to anything else. So I've chosen two songs. Uh, one is Eddie Vedder's Rise. Uh, you only need to know about four chords to play that one and they're all pretty easy. And the other one is uh, Lava from the Pixar short Lava, about the volcanoes. Uh, and that again, it's, it's only three chords. This is the first attempt at a song on this channel, so please be nice in the comments. Or at least if you're gonna be mean, be creative. So Rise actually starts off with some pretty simple finger picking, which I am not good at at all. Again, kind of stubby fingers. So I'm trying it. See, I can't remember the pattern. It's supposed to be... Uh, yeah. Uh. Why am I putting this on YouTube again? I suck. This is terrible. This is dumb. So something like that. Obviously, I'm not good at it at all. Yeah, I look pretty sleepy. Work was rough the other night. Still recovering. So that's just the intro, and then the rest of it kind of goes like this. This is a hard one. D is hard. Look at all three of these fingers have to go right here. And I forgot the next chord. Nope. See, I got a ways to go. The key is just I just need to go slower. You get impatient. I want to be able to play the song as fast as Eddie Vedder. But here's the thing. I'm not a 90s grunge star, so I really need to just slow down. That's the wrong chord. 
So, I don't know, slow and steady wins the race, so they say. That's not what Ron Swanson says. They're in the kitchen. Where? On the counter. Hey! What? What, Daddy? Close the door, please. Thank you. <sighs> Where was I? Something about a ukulele. Alright, well, thanks again for watching this episode of Stop or I'll Uke. Um, as you can see by my son's untimely entry, I just do this at my house with my family around, so... Sorry for the interruption. I also said I was going to mention my work again uh, earlier in this episode. Uh, I do have a job. I'm not a full-time ukulele player. I know that probably surprises you. Um, but I do have a full-time job, and it's something you probably wouldn't expect to go with ukulele playing. So I've left some subtle hints over the course of the last couple episodes. Uh, so you can go back and watch those. In the next episode, I will reveal what that is. I know you're all waiting on the edges of your seats. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, um, please... Uh, like the video, uh, subscribe, uh, comment. If you didn't like it, you don't have to like it, uh, but please still leave a comment and tell me why I'm terrible. Uh, if you have any suggestions as a ukulele aficionado yourself, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if I can do it, so can uke. Bye-bye.